Hello, thank you for joining Raspberry Pi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker and in this little Python coding video I'm going to be talking to you about variables. Um, variables are stored information. So if I was to put A is equal to number one, that's accepted it, it's not giving me any in any um, fault code. If I type in A, it will return what A value is. Um, if I put B is equal to hello, and if I call B, it will just repeat what I've put in as B, uh, which is hello. Um, let's put one in as C, and this is going to be a, a decimal number, so 3.2 whatevers. Um, and then if I call C, it will basically send it back to me. Um, there is a built-in function in your Python, it's called type. Um, and if I put type A and uh, put that into the brackets and press enter, it will show that it's uh, an int, which is an integer, a whole number. Uh, if I do the same for B, you'll see that it's come back as a str, <laughs> a string, uh, which is um, text that you get with quotation marks around it. Um, and if I do the same for see it's come back as a float which is a floating number between 3 and 4 because uh, it's 3.2 whatever um, so there is some certain little things that you can do with your floats uh, if you want to just have it as a, a number get rid of the decimal plane uh, decimal point etc so you can tell it to like a is an integer, it's a whole number, we want to tell, so we'll put int, notice how it's changed colour because it's, uh, it's going to do something, uh, and if I put a c in there, which is the 3.22345654, it's got rid of all that and it's just classed as free. Um, there is um, another thing that's built into your Python which is called round, and if I put a round of C, it'll round it up or down, depending on which position it is. So if I put D is equal to 3.7, <laughs> um, and then if I do the round of D, it's gone up to 4. Uh, there is other things called floor and ceiling. Um, but that you would have to import the module uh, module math. Um, I'm not going to go into importing modules on on this video. Uh, that will come in on a, a on another video. Um, but basically, ceiling would take it up because if you if you well, like I'm studying in the room at the moment, ceiling is above me, so it will take it to the next number above um, as a whole number. And if I do floor which is below me so it's going to take the number down uh, like rounding down kind of um, so that's what you can do with some floats um, strings so if I well I can change um, in, in Python you can change your your variables quite freely um, so I could say that D is now equal to um, I'm going to put a space and then I'll put the word whoa <laughs> meant to put world um, and now D is defined as that so you can change your variables really easy in Python um, and like in the print video that I did uh, I did what's called concatenate uh, where you put um, join something together basically um, so if like up here I've got B is hello and I've got D as world excuse me um, so if I go down here and then if I put uh, E is equal to um, B plus D now if I press uh, type in E it'll print it out and it's just added what is B to D 
so that is concatenation um, and you can play around with your variables by doing maths and different equations um, I don't want to go into too much detail in some of these but um, play around with the variables um, it's quite good um, a good instance for a variable would be to now I'll do it in the next video I was going to go on about a for loop where the variable changes as it counts up uh, but I'll leave that for the next video so that's it for variables in this video um, I'll catch you in the next one